Hey everyone, Chris here back with a new tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to transform the look of this photo from spring to autumn very easily by changing some sliders in Adobe Lightroom CC. Alright, here we go. So I want to start editing this photo from scratch and what I'm going to do right now is to enter the develop module. You can click here or use the shortcut for this, which is D on the keyboard. The next thing I will do is to find the proper exposure for the photo because it looks a bit underexposed to me. I'm going to grab the exposure slider and push the exposure up, but I want to make sure that my photo is not overexposed. And you can control this by holding down the Option key on a Mac or Alt on a PC and then drag the exposure slider to the right until you see some colored pixels. Everything is fine at this point, but if you go too far, you'll start seeing white areas and that means you are overexposing. So I will go back just a bit and I think it looks great at 1.2. Let's move down to the contrast and give this photo some pop. There we go, like this. Or um, maybe it's too much, let's go down to 30. Yep, that looks fine at the moment. I will leave the highlights, the shadows and the whites alone, but I will bring down the blacks. Now, an important thing. You should avoid having 100% black areas in your photos because that means you will lose details and you don't want that if you want to print this out or if you want to upload the photo to a stock agency like I do for example. So make sure you hold down Option or Alt and drag the slider to the left until you start seeing colored pixels. Again, if you go too far with this, black pixels will show up and that means I've already lost some detail there. Let's go down to lens correction now. I'm used to enable profile corrections and take the remove chromatic aberrations. And now let's start shifting some colors down here in the camera calibration tab. I'm on Adobe standard profile as you can see here. And because we want to change the color of the leaves and grass from the photo, which are green, I will have to play with the green primary hue slider first. I need to go down at minus 90 and then almost same thing with the blue primary hue except this time I will go all the way to the left to minus 100. Keep in mind that these values are different for each photo so you'll have to experiment and see what percentage makes it look better for you. Let's take the saturation to a negative value and see what happens. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, finished here. Now we need to tweak some more this orange look and try to make it more natural. So we need to work it out here in the HSL tab, the hue, saturation and luminance tab. I will choose the hue right here and then grab the yellow slider and bring it down to minus 40. I'm going to give a negative 10 value to orange also. I think it looks much better like this. And I'm going to take out some magenta from the tint. I don't like the look of the trees here, so let's go to the top where the white balance is and drag the slider to the left. I think a plus 10 value will do just fine now. White balance temperature looks fine to me, so I leave this alone. But let's add some fade in the blacks to make it more artistic. I will go to the tone curve tab and then click on this icon here to reach the point curve editor. Let's add a point here in the blacks and then push this node upwards to 15 or something like that. So you can see now, if I turn off the curve editor, how it was before and how is it now? The blacks are more faded. Okay, so it's time for a before and after just so we can see the huge difference in the photo. I need to go here and click this icon for before and after and Let's change the view of this, let's make it before and after, left and right. It looks really awesome and it's a huge difference from where we started, right? 
So what do you guys think of this edit? Leave a comment down below and tell me if you like it or not, or what other methods are you using to achieve this kind of look. Honestly, I really love how you can just change colors by adjusting some sliders, but you should always remember to shoot in RAW if you want to bring your editing to another level. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment down below, like I mentioned before, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Talk to you guys in the next one. This is Chris, bye-bye now.